this is considered a, a pretty rich area, and, and th these are, you were telling me, Triassic fossils. Yeah, these are late Triassic in age, about 215 million years ago. So, sort of in the middle of the late Triassic. This is pretty exciting. Though. Yeah, this is really, this is actually really exciting. Um, generally, um, to put this in perspective, we've, we've worked this quarry for about 10 years now. Originally, the quarry started over out by where the truck is. So, I mean, a dozen, a couple dozen feet out, out, out there. The other thing that makes this really quarry really interesting is the fact that it is probably the result of a paleo wildfire about 215 million years ago. So when you see, for example, like big fires in the Bosque or something like that, that would be equivalent to what happened here. But obviously, um, instead of having houses and people around this big river system, you have these animals, these phytosaurs, these edosaurs, these dinosaurs. And so that's what's left is these guys either um, were killed by the fumes or uh, what have you. Um, the land, the landscape got totally, um, totally barren from all the fires. And so the next time there was this big rain, this big slurry of mud and charcoalized logs and uh, bones shot down into a low spot. And that's what made this quarry. Oh, it's a, it's a vertebra. It's a dorsal vertebra, which is one between the hips and the shoulders. And it belongs to a very primitive uh, form of dinosaur, an, an early form. It's, it's kind of an important piece. Like a, 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 one of those uh, crocodile type things that we saw at the... More like the coelophysis oh, that you okay. saw there. Little bird-like creature. Yes. So how, can you tell how big that might have been? That's a pretty good sized animal. Like uh, bigger than a dog? Oh yeah, including the long skinny tail it would have been maybe 10 feet long. Okay, that's, that's a big dog. Okay, we'll take it back to the prep lab and that's a really kind of important piece. So, Randy, you are you're working on these other jackets, is that right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to separate these out and take yeah. them back to the lab. And Larry, you're, you're going to spray them with a the, the water for us so we can have a, a better look at them, right? So these are bones? These are bones here. This is probably a rib. And these are the scoots or osteoderms from a, an eudosaur. And what's a, a, a uh, They're squat lizards that were heavily armored, probably what, mm -hmm. 15 feet long? And uh, more, no more than four or five feet high. They're really squat and low yeah. to the ground. And, and um, Again, these herbivores. Are herbivores, you can tell that from their teeth, right? And so this was also a Triassic animal. Mm -hmm. Same yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. So, wouldn't it be great you could find all the pieces and then really have a, a, an idea of what this animal looked like from, yeah. from finding this? Is that your goal here? Just find as many pieces Yeah, that's as ultimately you can. the goal. Also, we like to get uh, what's called a growth series, which is an example of each different size animal. Uh -huh. And then we can tell how they grew and how they changed shape as they grew and what their population possibly was so like. These animals kind of lived in groups, so they obviously died in a group here. Uh, can um, you tell anything like that? Sometimes you can. Um, I'm not sure that we can extrapolate that much information from this quarry. Okay, and this is Bree, and Bree, you're the volunteer coordinator at the museum. I am the volunteer coordinator. And you're also here digging through some of this these fossils to find things. So show us what you're doing. Okay, so I've actually proven really good at finding nothing at all. <laughs> um, so Larry has put me in charge of um, sort of trenching around the, um, the blocks of fossils mm -hmm. um, so that we can make jackets to to pop out like they did over right, there. Right, and you've labeled your, your little pieces here, so they're gonna go along with it, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. Um, so we're sort of making these narrow, narrow trenches um, in between, you know, like the bones over here and the bones over here, and then the same on this side, um, so that we're preserving as much of the fossil block as possible, um, while still, you know, making it, um, making the fossil block or the jackets manage of manageable size. Okay, thank you. Time period's called the Mesozoic. Oh, okay. So. If you see these low red hills and slopes at the bottom here, that's Triassic rock. Then there are some yellow cliffs with gray, sort of rounded gray hills on top of those. That's Jurassic. That's okay. the age of the really giant dinosaurs. Yeah, it needs to be sort of like pancake batter. Mm -hmm. 
You want to lay it on, Randy? Now that you've covered it with this uh, plaster soaked uh, burlap, uh, what's the purpose of, of, of doing this particular procedure? Well, that'll, that'll hold the rock together. The rock's pretty friable. As you can see, there are fractures everywhere. And um, those fractures go through the bone as well. So if you tried to remove the bone without the jacket over it, it would just crumble to pieces. So Nadine, you, you're here from Switzerland, right? Yes. And you're helping the museum staff do some digging here in the, in the uh, quarry. Uh, have you had any training? Have you done this before? Um, yes, there was some, some other places here too. Uh -huh. Is it fun? Yes. <laughs> what, so what have you been learning? What, do you, what is this? Do you know? Um, from uh, bones? From a phytosaur. Phytosaur? Yes, okay. that's the back from the phytosaur mm -hmm. piece. How long did it take you to do this? Looks yeah, like you're using dental tools. <laughs> uh, this is this I think this is a, a rib of a phytosaur. Rib? And a rib, yes. Oh. And it's broken here. It goes, uh, uh, in this direction, there is another rib here. There's something other. So they're going to uh, encase this in plastic. Yeah, take that's it right. Back to that's right. That's so right. How long did it take you to dig that out? Uh, we arrived yesterday, about half day, to dig it out, and now we uh, try to to chase it, to to cut it here, uh, so that we can plaster this jacket. Okay. And there is a lot of hot stuff uh, <laughs> under the rocks. Mm -hmm. So we're here with the father-daughter team and they are doing gourmet cooking for the, the volunteers and the staff at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History. And this is Richard. Hello, Hello. Richard. good to see you. And Rachel. Hi. And so what motivates you to do this volunteer work? Uh, my wife uh, likes to come out on the digs, and it's not really my thing to be digging, but I can do this. I can run a camp, and I can cook for these people. Mm -hmm. 